Um, there's one more thing I want to say on the, like, the, the topic of anarchism, I suppose, right? Because like yeah. I may have given a I may have given a really, really kind of like abstract idea of shit um, without without like trying to apply any kind of pragmatism to the to the subject, right? And how we go about doing these things in the current day. Well, I think it's really isn't pragmatic, so you know, it's it's okay, it's forgivable. <laughs> Wow, I, um, damn, damn. I am, I'm hurt. I'm cut to the no, core. I'm sorry, uh, I think I think all these barbs are super interesting because it's uh, it's it's a good thing to do in place of any actual argument against it. Um, so, <laughs> so I think what's important right like right now, right, is to recognize that the state doesn't address all the material needs of its citizens, right, and that we can we do have power as a collective to be able to address some of those material needs ourselves. We can't mm -hmm. We can't like. We're going to find it very difficult to like place new pipes for water or whatever. We might ultimately be able to do something like that uh, if we get a large enough collective together. But we're not going to be able to do that immediately, right? So, but we can we can help out in our local communities. We can create organisations that like that 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 get people working together to create community action to improve people's material conditions. That's the way we start this shit ultimately, right? And there's a lot of groups doing that out there right now. Um, that, wor uh, that work within communities to address the material needs of the people. I think that's the only way that you can do these things. And in that way, you show people that they have the power to do these things. That's, that's, that's ultimately it, right? It's really, it sounds really like it's not going to fucking lead to anything. Um, but you have to change the fundamental philosophy of Americans. Americans for so long have been told that if they look over their fence and see their neighbor's house all fucking shitty and run down, right? That that means that they're doing well because they're doing better. It doesn't mean that like, oh shit, there's something wrong in my community that my neighbor's house is allowed to get so fucking grotty. And I and I and I think we have to change that fundamental philosophy, and we only do that by reaching out and trying to, like, uh, like I said, set up those organisations to address people's material needs cooperatively. What's wrong with the government? <laughs> the government really doesn't fucking do the job, does it? Look at but you them. can reform the government to do the job. Well. You know, in the absence of that government reform coming for people who have been waiting for like fucking decades, uh, maybe we could maybe we could work to try and address some of this shit ourselves as well. So, I, I... oh, so you do you you th oh no, you sorry, Prime. no, please go ahead. So, Vivian, do you think that we should do, you know, like community action and reform the government at the same time? I I said much earlier, right, that taking taking part in electoralism to mitigate the like. Uh, the most uh, the most harmful overreaches of the state. Like I think that's a really good a really good idea, right? You should, the government exists. You should try and make it work for you as much as possible while it does, right? But that doesn't mean that like electoralism or anarchism is not like an either or. I mean, I guess ultimately, like getting ri getting rid of the state, but like it's not an either or, right? You you can build out these things and take part in the electoral process at the same time to get them to address uh, address material needs as well. But it's about making sure that without these... the government. How do you protect your freedom without the government? Yeah, I mean, with with arms. Generally, you... I mean, if you're talking about like if you manage to somehow create an anarchist uh, uh, collective that is big enough that it becomes autonomous from the state, you do it with arms, the same as any other fucking nation. But who manages the anarchist state? I, who, whoever you want to fucking elect to be your generals for your army. But who controls like the flow of money, like finances, the you know the arms, like who controls that? You think individuals people. individually decide that? The people and their de and their delegates or representatives in their in their respective councils. Or whatever so the, they these delegates be. go to where a government, right? What do you mean where? Like where do they like propose these ideas, and like they represent their people, right? Where do they go? It. it it depends, right? We live in a we live in an interlacing system of many democracies, 
right? And any kind of like independent anarchist kind of uh, collective is going to have a whole bunch of different things that are set up, right? You're going to have like, I don't know, your local fucking country club if you're a bougie fucker, right? Uh, you're going to have like whatever workplace you're working in at the time, right? You have um, like the people who look after like uh, waste disposal and keeping the fucking streets clean and all of that sort of stuff, right? There's lots and lots and all these systems fucking uh, interlace and overlap. But, like, ultimately, uh, it, it would be the people who are involved within those systems would, like, vote for the best, uh, vote for the best outcome, which is, like... It sounds partial. like you're saying a state without a state. Like, it sounds like... I'm saying that state. government... Well, it, I mean, it depends on what you mean by a state, right? A state is generally considered to be, like, a centralized entity, um, which is why anarchists are, like, abolish the state, because we argue for decentralized governance, but we don't argue for, like, like no gov... You have to... You have to govern right in a certain way it just has to be as democratic as possible wait what <laughs> that sounds like a backtrack you said abolish the state but then there needs to be some government i, I it again it does depend on the, your like definition of these words right but we're saying like no centralized state entity right rather a system of interlocking democracies and when you say govern govern means to uh, to essentially have control over where shit goes and how, how like the laws that are supposed to be followed and codes of conduct, whatever, right? Um, like you have to you have to do those things in order to have a society. It's just so that you, like the people govern from the ground up rather than so you like, want independent from the like people governing from the ground up and like a centralized body to manage them, right? No, no, I don't think she's saying that. I, 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 most anarchists I've spoken to, like right and left, have said like they kind of just want like they're not even against like the concept of what we know as government. It's mainly like they want it like smaller and more controlled by the individuals in like let's just say like a community, right? That's my understanding. The idea it of anarchy like... is to extend democracy as much as possible, right? To give people as much of a say as possible in how they are governed, and to set up no systems of governance which aren't justified, right? Aren't required uh, for the job that they're doing and don't have the consent of the people that they're governing. That's... So you want independent governments that act autonomously in separate regions? Right? Yeah, it sounds a bit like states, right? But like, okay, but do you think these people cooperate together? Like would like one yeah. just, like... they will have they will have to, right? Because like what you put upstream from somebody else flows downstream to them and vice versa. That's why I say we live in the interlocking systems, right? You have to cooperate in order to in order to produce the best results for you and for the and, and for the other people around you. Okay, Vivian, well, hold on. What if stop. there's a what if there's contention between one group, one autonomous group and another autonomous group, where do they go and manage that? Where does one country go? That. Where does one country go to uh, to if there's contention with another country? They go internationally, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there has to be a central government <laughs> to like manage that the. No, there doesn't need to be a central government. There only they needs who... to be cooperation and communication between these different democracies, just the same as like centrally, nations... right? Sorry. So what? like, okay, so like. If, if like it, four groups, it, four autonomous groups don't agree with another four autonomous groups, where do they go to hash out their grievances, right? Wouldn't they go to like a central body and like all the other autonomous groups would vote together to decide, like make a compromise? Sounds like a, I mean, if you don't agree with that, I don't know how this system would work at all. Because it just sounds like they'd fight this each isn't other. A centralized, this isn't a centralized body. They're not appealing to some other body to make a, uh, to make a decision, are they? Who are they appealing to? Each other. Nah, what would stop no, some I don't anarchist with society from yeah. just doing some you, really like, horrible shit? How do you how do you think the world currently works, dude? When 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 nations have conflicts with each other, they hash like it you out have you have a few things like, the system that we established. Yes, they sue each other. That's what like they've been like they use the systems doing. in okay. place, the governing okay. systems in yes. place to manage it. They do shoot yeah. each other sometimes. Yeah, sue. you're absolutely sue. right. Oh, sorry, sue each other. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Like there's well, like what's... international criminal courts and all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah, so you but need like... something like that. If there's you need something like that. You can't just have like these autonomous groups like disagree and then like they bash it out together. No, you need a have... central group. I have I have no I have no issue with arbiters as long as they're democratically elected from all the other people. 
Wait, so you you can see that point as well. So you, there, so you agree it needs to be point. a central body of governance to hash out grievances, a potentially grievances I don't of... Think that it, I don't think that it necessarily does need to exist, but... Like what? if the people if if the people in all these different democracies decide that they want to be, uh, they want to be subject to some decisions by, I'd be I yeah. But then I guess some some would pull out of it ultimately. Sounds like federalism. I'm, I mean, it sounds, sounds like, federalism. like what? It's federalism. federalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing well, is, right, would... like the federal state like tells other states what to do, not because the the states um subject but themselves. All the to people the will elect the elect the representatives to go to that state, to go to the federal government to have national laws, and then independently each state has their own local laws, right? Sounds like federalism. Just like, I guess, in a more chaotic way. Sure. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> uh, All right, guys, I mean, I'm gonna go to bed. I mean... Have a good one. Thank you. Take care. See you I later. I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree So you're saying, that. like, what's I'm the not... difference? What's the difference between, like, this particular proposed system of anarchy, remember that, like I said earlier, I'm not proposing any fucking utopia, I'm just predicting where I think we'd probably end up if we followed this critical lens for enough time, right? Um, what I'm saying is, right, the, the way that our democratic decisions are made would look very, very different from the way they look currently, right? Our representatives would look very, very different from what they look like currently. The uh, the abolition of private property, for example, would have such a profound effect on, like, who gets elected and when and how, right, um, that, that the way our democracies work would be virtually unrecognisable. So you can say that it sounds somewhat similar, but you have to recognize all the coercive uh, all the coercive influence of all those unjustified hierarchies that are currently set up within the United States, right? That prevent uh, that prevent true democracy from taking place. The ability of large corporations to lobby, the amount of uh, the amount of power that large corporations have in funding funding campaigns and so on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Can I just? Uh, if, done or? Yeah, no. Finish, finish your point, and then I'll let in this new person. Sure. Uh, I have yeah. a I have a question to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. clarify for something. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, finish your point. Um, I oh, mean, I, I, I mean, I think I I think I'd essentially finished. I was just going through wait. examples of like how unjustified hierarchies pervert the course of democracy. Wait, can, can I address a Venus point real quick before the new yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said you. Oh. Yeah, Quinn, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think me and Vivian. I think there should be like like. Maybe like autonomous, like you know, different like like governments, kind of like states, and a, like a central like governing body where they would like all like if it's all like you know democratically decided on by the people, of course. I think it should just be more democratic. So like, I think we agree that the system should be more democratic. Like I think we just yeah, we come to the same. Democratic. Yeah, if it's democratic, then yeah, okay, I guess we agree then. Honestly, sounds like we agree. Oh, okay, awesome, you're an anarchist. Talk. That's great. As a, it's a federal anyway. Well, I think it's a federalist. I one. think it's a more like democratic like, federalist, basically. The, pro but. the problem with the um the problem with the centralization, like I always said, right, is like the larger a democracy is, the more people are disenfranchised by it. The more people that get to vote, the more people are going to be affected by the tyranny of the majority, which is why it's important to set uh, to to decentralize as much as you possibly so can. So let's let's uh actually let's set up our um um, our, our buddy Black Wolf, and then we'll go to a new person focus, okay? Sure. All right. Explain to me where I'm going wrong here. If we have a bunch of anarchist societies that live in like the continental United States, and one of them is like, like it's maybe former Alabama or whatever, and they start doing some really messed up stuff to minorities, right? And mm -hmm. the if it's a fully democratic society, as long as there's enough white supremacists there compared to the minorities, they'll win. So it seems yeah. intuitive that in a just society, these other anarchist communities would want to have the ability to stop them from doing that, right? Absolutely. So they could either, uh, they would band together to agree that there are certain laws that supersede the laws that any community mm -hmm. could make. And then, of course, they can say all the laws they want but they would need a military to enforce these laws mm -hmm. otherwise the other anarchist society would just say fuck off we're going to keep doing okay, it so they don't need the laws so, okay um so wait they don't I need pretty the much, 
So I've already addressed I've already addressed the solution to this problem uh, in multiple ways throughout. Yeah, but isn't this just like the federal <laughs> government at this point? Like, no, I already okay. Look, I already said we don't we don't need uh, laws that govern other regions, right? Um, we uh, because because what you're describing can happen in the in the United States currently did happen in the United States, right? Jim Crow was a fucking thing. Slavery was a fucking thing, right? Sure. If the majority of people in the United States decide that black people deserve no rights, right, then they can make that happen. Okay, uh, I don't I don't care about your fucking constitutional nonsense. Okay, like people can wipe their fucking ass with the Constitution and change it if there's enough people that want to do it. Um, you know that's what fucking amendments are so we uh so i've already addressed this problem uh in multiple ways so the first way is that like i think that democracies should be smaller so that when the tyranny of the majority uh does cause some people's views to be completely repressed right i.e they have no say in how they are governed it's a lot easier for them to like move down the road if they want to right moving from alabama to fucking uh texas is like a hell of a lot easier than moving out of the united states right in uh, in in the jim crow era if you wanted to escape uh if you wanted to escape oppression as a black person in the united states you had to leave the country you couldn't just leave the state right um and secondly the way that these other communities would address it they would see that some great oppression is going on against a marginalized community right and if they wanted to uh they would offer their support in their liberation of those people who were there right so they, um, would, they would have the like their own militaries, right? They would, each nonsense. anarchist society would have their own military that they could choose to or not if they didn't want to help out. Yeah. And those, military, and those yeah. military forces can work together, right? Just as the paramilitary forces in the United States do the same thing today. As a new person jumps so, in, can I jump out? Uh, yeah, sure. You don't have to ask for permission. You no, you have leave. to stay. Yeah, you can just leave. Like, I yeah. mean, it's yeah. polite to say goodbye. <laughs> You're trapped here oh. with us forever. You can never well, leave. Thank you for this was my here. first open panel, by the way. Oh, thank it was you for interesting. Being, yeah, it's nice meeting well, you. Please come back in the future. All right, go ahead. So my, my main my my main concern is is with definitions. Now all of us have an idea of what the ideal society is, and it's going to be subjective to us. Every single person has an idea of ideal societies, and I doubt anybody here could quantify it. But let's look at what society is. What are societies? They're rules that are enforced by one principle that exists in every single society, and that's violence. So my contention that anarchism is only defined by anarchy, and this is quoted by Jacques Alou, who wrote the book on Christian anarchy. By anarchy, I mean the first and absolute rejection of all violence. There is nothing else that's more anarchic than rejecting violence in all forms of capacity, speech, uh, action. It's the only anarchy that exists when the entire status quo of how this world works is violence and force. Yeah, that's what I have to say. What? Okay. Yeah, you're begging I mean, the question, dude. What the What's fuck? Violence? So I think the point. Well, asking the question you want, I'm I'm very ready to stand you're like, on my you're position. You're like in an anarchist society, we should, we should automatically like, remove violence. Of course, that'd be a perfect society, but that's not going to happen. So you're begging, you're begging. Yeah, I think you guys are missing. In, 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 in a fallen in a fallen world, in a fallen world that is ran by violence, the only anarchy, which is the principle of every society. The only the only anarchy that can exist in the world that we live in right now, concretely, materially, objectively, it is run by violence and enforcement and force. It's coerced either by propaganda, which is mental violence, or it's coerced by actual material force. We all live in the shadow of nuclear weapons. So the only anarchy that does exist, in the, and I'm ready to stand and defend this position, I bet you I will beat every single one of you with any contention that you have. Is, you, is haven't that defined, you haven't defined violence. I don't know about that. Absolute anarchy. Okay, so you, what do you, think, you don't you're just, violence nothing. Okay, you're just saying right. nothing. Bro. Let's let's Sorry. let's let Viv give it give it a try. Go ahead, Viv, please. So what I think is the more reasonable kind of like take here is that like violence as we understand it is the restriction of another person's autonomy, right? Um it is it is the use of force to restrict them from that's freedom, that's not violence. I what? sure okay. 
but like when you when you hit somebody you've infringed upon their freedom to like go about go about their lives Let's without being like, fucking I, hurt, I, right? I, like, listen I'm, I, i'll be on this well, panel but like you I gotta, mentioned i have to feel free that if you redefine if you make a definition you just can't go on the branches of tangents so start with the principle if you say something well, your is principle freedom, is vacuous okay, you're not so saying so anything try to freedom, you let him go. I'm not let trying him, to let him go. Not... No, hold on, uh, hold on. So, did you did you get your point out? Focus there. Is... No, I just I just want the freedom and the safety here to be able to like interject if I feel like I I just want to understand you. I'm not trying to. I want to understand you. Okay, well, like, if you want to understand me, you can have to get me out. Point, politely, polite, politely, like can I interject and be like, what do you mean by this? Is that okay? Am I safe to do that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay so I, 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 so I think, I, Jesus. Okay, I'll skip past the first little bit, and I'll, I'll just say that I think we, we all recognise there are times when violence is used, right? Like we would all, lo- we would all love to live in a society where violence never has to be used, right? If we live in a completely cooperative society where we can make these democratic decisions and everybody has an equal say in the democratic process. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like this is a straw man. This is like a kind of a passive aggressive straw man. I haven't oh, made any not. of those arguments. I've, I, I've just, I, let me, let I'm me not, I'm not saying that you've made any, I'm going to tell you exactly, what, but I want to okay. be clear where I stand. And so that we can communicate, you are objecting to actual things I said. So here's what I stand. These are my contentions. Okay. Contention number one in the society that we live and we'll just go one by one. Here's my first contention in the world that we live. The principle of every society and how it is brought together and molded and glued together is violence. Yes or no? Why or why not? You'd have to define violence. You can't make a statement like that to like literally like perfectly okay to define violence. You have to define violence. Perfectly okay to define violence. Okay. I will. I will define violence right now. Okay. Violence is okay. 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 So mm-hmm. psychologically, and by, so psychologically, psychologically, when your boundaries are violated, uh, whether this be emotional, whether it be physical, whether it be mental, um, I feel like though it, there's a certain dishonesty if we can't all describe what violence looks like, because I feel we all have a personal attachment to it, especially if you're in a dysfunctional family. If you've ever been hit, that's violence. Uh, if someone threatens and coerces you to do something. Uh, by means mm-hmm. of force, whatever that means, threats, right. emotional threats. I mean, can we all so why, agree that we so know what violence is? is or, okay, or, so or, why or, does wait, wait, wait? Because you objected to this earlier, right? Why does violence take place? Why do people use violence? I mean, we'd have to go back to like original causality. We'd have to talk about historicity. No, no, it's really, it's a really simple. No, it's really. There's a really simple answer to this, okay? And the really simple answer is people use violence to enforce their will on other people, right? It is a breach of their autonomy. This is why we view violence through the lens of autonomy. That's why people do it, right? That's why the first fucking thing that I said, because I was accepting with you, right, that, like, speech can be violence, um, emotional damage can be violence, blah, 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 right? Because people use these things to enforce... So let's let's, let's define it very clearly, then. Violence is is hurting someone in order to coerce them to do what you say. You don't have but to I'm hurt talking about physically. we already have an established... Okay, but we already have an established society, right, where we say, if you do this, Vivian, if you steal my property, I can call the police, right? Yeah, you're aware of that. And they'll right come now. and try to get the property back. If you don't give it back, they'll use... They'll, yeah, but they'll use violence. This is what I'm talking yes, about. We, of course they I will. just want yeah. to, like, establish the, the, fact, well, the fact that we live in a world... That is yeah. is is based on violence. Like yes. you're gonna we all understand. Okay, we all understand that, right? Okay, we okay. all understand okay. that politics. Here's my is next easy. point. Okay, since that right. since that is the status quo, since that mm-hmm. is the principle of our world, my mm-hmm. contention, like Jacques Alul, who wrote the book on propaganda, who was World War II a Nazi killer. You know, the biggest fucking badass that ever lived, as far as I'm concerned, as far as a sociologist is concerned, says anarchy is this, nonviolence, because the principle of the world is violence. 
Okay, he's wrong then. And cool. I, I, I feel he's like wrong. that's the he's wrong. Well, he's okay, wrong. So, so I, so no, I, agree, I agree in a certain sense, right? Um, because this is why I was trying to drill down earlier to what we were talking about about autonomy and so on, right? The the fundamental idea of anarchy is that we ought to abolish any kind of unjust hierarchy, right? And an unjust hierarchy is that which enforces its will over another person without good cause, okay? And that would be a form of violence, right? We would understand. Okay, uh, it would be enforced through violence, violence of some kind, right? Some coercive influence, be that physical violence or, or mental coercion, whatever, right? So we understand that. Okay, so the reason, question, the, reason, the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason that he, wait, wait, wait. You? <laughs> okay, sure, fuck. Um, like when you talk about like autonomy, so my question to you, if you could just touch on this, is like. Maybe talk about like positive, negative rights. Do I affect your autonomy, like as a person? If, if like, for example, like say I don't want to pay, I, like it, I don't want anything to do with you for the rest of my life. You don't understand. Does that what you affect mean. your autonomy? You don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. So autonomy is like, do you work? No, I just what? literally said I don't understand. Oh, so no, do you clarification? Oh my god. Okay, let me just start. Okay, seriously, seriously, it's fine. It's fine. No, um. I, I I don't believe in so <laughs> the distinction between positive and negative rights is a bit of a is is a bit of an iffy one and it's a whole fucking philosophical uh, discussion all on its own. Okay, there are definitely we gotta discuss it in order to move there, forward. If we're gonna talk about autonomy, we have. I to just want to marry. I that's just what's facing our, that's what's okay. facing our society. I just want to marry. I just want to marry. Oh my god! Let her finish. You gotta let her finish. Like, finish. Oh, hey, 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 hey! You gotta let her get her word I've out. Been trying, been trying to get to this end point um, because I want to marry your concept of nonviolence with what true anarchism is, right? And I think uh, what um, what's his fucking name was trying to say there, right, is essentially that in an anarchist society, you live in a state of cooperation, ultimately, right? That's the ultimate point that you want to get to. You live in a state of cooperation where nobody is unjustly enforcing their will upon another person, right? And therefore, no violence is being done, right? So ultimate, like, if you were to live in the perfect anarchist society in which everybody follows these things, then yes, it would be a non-violent society. But we have to recognize, of course, that there are people who would wish to do violence on us, would wish to enforce their will upon us. And in that case, self-defense, uh, self right? Okay. Violence and self-defense, in order to overturn those unjust hierarchies, might be required because we don't yet live in that ultimate anarchist society. Yeah, but I just want to talk about the principle because, like, you have autonomy and nonviolence, and you have autonomy first. Like, you don't want your boundaries crossed, right? Like, it's, uh -huh. and tell me if I'm wrong. It's like, I feel like autonomy has to do with boundaries. Like, you don't want your boundaries crossed, and you don't want to cross anybody else's boundaries. But my my point is is that autonomy doesn't go first. Nonviolence goes first. If you start with that, then we can talk about autonomy. That's my that's I mean my if point. we if we okay, if we say that we are never going to use violence of any kind against any other person, even if they are using violence against us, we will only ever be subjugees, right? We will only ever be subjugated. There's Let's take it back to the individual and the microcosm. It's you and I in eternity, right? Let's do it my name. It's you and I in eternity. And okay. how about like before we even start anything? And you I, say, use I say, hi, my name is Bro uh, my name is Brett. Yeah, and I say my name is Brett. Vivian. It's just you and I. How about we agree? No violence. Let's just start okay. there. Yeah, that sounds, what the fuck? That sounds okay. real great if it's just you and, and then me. Then we can talk however, about boundaries. However, we then don't, we can talk however, about boundaries. However, however, we don't live in that world. Is it a date or something? We talk about boundaries that much? We live in a world where there's like a whole bunch of people, and some of them are like, no violence, right? And others are like, well, actually, violence, and I'm going to use violence against you to force you to do what I want you to do. Now, in the situation we where we live it's in the present moment people, right now yes, with we do. you and yes, I, we and we can decide as people. Yeah, let, let, let her yes, get I it can out. just, I can just. 
I can decide that if it's just you and me, right, we can decide that we're never going to use violence against each other to coerce the other one to do something, right? We can absolutely do that, okay? But unfortunately, the world in which we live is where there's like you and me, and then there's a whole bunch of other people who are like, yes, we're going to use violence to force you to do what we want you to do, right? And if we sit back and just say, well, we will never use any violence against those people, even though they haven't entered that mutually uh, that mutual agreement, right? Um, then we are forever subjugated by those people. We can never break free of it, right? Like, ultimately, um, some form of like self defense, I think is I I think is acceptable. Um, I think you have to be very careful with it. I think it has to be used only when it's absolutely necessary and it's a last resort, right? Um, and any violence should absolutely be proportionate to the violence that's being like done against you. Um, I'm not advocating for like violent revolution tomorrow Don't or anything. Agree with that. A really stupid idea, but okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full mask off. Um, yeah. Um, anarchism sounds kind of dumb. I key, like just hearing you guys talk about it. Like the point that Black Wolf was trying to make earlier is that like, yeah, well, you need like what are you gonna say? Uh, like, let me let me just say this. I'm not an anarchist, right? I'm really not. But I think like Vivian has made it clear that like um the the practical way uh they approach it is by understanding like maybe it's for the benefit of society to like uh have a more i don't know like direct action into how that society functions and that's a that's mm -hmm. a principle of anarchy and i agree with that i think like most of us agree with that if we're talking about practicality that's another discussion but this guy keeps talking about boundaries like i don't know what he's talking about dude because like my understanding of boundaries right, no, 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 is not, let, let go. It's not universal boundaries between people what somebody like for for example my grandpa has different boundaries than i do because my grandpa was born in the 50s right so like when you say like when you keep like reiterating don't break people's boundaries not everybody has the same understanding of boundaries so you're effectively like saying nothing that's why the principle of nonviolence is so important because if you can start I take there, you're not gonna... stop stop go ahead <laughs> Yeah, sure. I can stop whenever you. No, want. no, 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 no. I want you to continue. I want you to continue. Oh yeah, like the, I'm saying, like for me, like my personal philosophy is very present moment. Like I have control over this of what I say here and how I how I behave here, right? I don't, I don't, I don't think it's useful to take. Uh, look at the macrocosmos and like project my morality on it but i could say like like if you but i believe just as a principle and like if you start with nonviolence, then you could start talking about those boundaries then you could start talking about like okay we're we're let's just agree here let's not kill each other you know what i mean and my whole point is that that's anarchy is because we're already in a state of fucking insanity in this world like a government bro you know, how so do you we have we have nuclear we have nuclear we have nuclear weapons and everybody's just like, well, what about everybody else? And I'm like, well, fucking, you know, quit being a codependent and fucking worry about your own shit so, and be kind it, to your neighbor. It, it seems like you're you know, defining anarchist. the anarchy as, you know as pacifism, <laughs> though. It, do, do you, does it seem like that to anyone else that you're like just redefining the anarchy right. as pacifism? What he's well, highlighting we, is we, like we, a non-aggression principle and it has the same problem because what we determine as aggression is different between individuals. That's why you need a government to define it. That's how you make the pact of non-aggression. Even the government. Even the government. That's the main problem with anarchy. In my opinion. You need a central governing force. That's a, that's a problem with anarchy. It doesn't work without a central government telling Don't other autonomous states or people what to do and what they cannot do. Like it's it's just it doesn't it's work. Absolutely right. Oh, we agree. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, the society I will not. not I, you know, I didn't realize oh, shit, I didn't, the society will not work without violence. Okay, Wait, I didn't realize I was in a chat full of um, full of authoritarians, but it was very. No, you extreme. need a government. No, this so, is the hold on, hold on. Wait, you need people to tell you what to did do. Did you not see? Uh, did you not hear what he no. just said? Hold on, uh, hold on. We gotta go, we gotta go back to this because I think we might have missed this. A uh, new person, focus. Okay, I want to understand what you just said. You said that government won't work. Without violence, oh, are you saying that because government won't work without violence, I have to give it all government? Is that what you're implying? Not implying that. I'm saying just objectively speaking, just on the material world and how it was run, the principle 
of all governments, of all societies, is violence. Okay. That is the first principle. And Akon, I believe can I, I can defend that. I believe I can defend that. Like, I'm can absolutely I sure I can. Sure, the state is violence, yeah. And politics is uh, politics is the um, uh, the the uh, the deciding of where and how to use that violence and who should have the power to use it. Yeah, we we all we all kind of understand and agree with that. I think at least to some level. Mm -hmm. um, the objection here. So, is what's not, wrong with my definition of anarchy? Yeah, she's, what's trying, what's she's, my, she's trying to tell you. I, she's I, she's trying to tell you the objection right now. Uh, the the objection I ha I have to you is not the 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 idea that um, society is violent, but that the only answer to that is to like on your own say right I will never engage in any violent action because let me take it to some extreme right there are nations in the world currently in which totalitarian dictators rule over their people some in fact committing genocide against those people that exist there right um, if those people like need to be able to use violence and self-defense to be able to defend themselves. And and as anarchists, right, if we recognize that some sort of totalitarian abuse of power, uh, some great violence is being done to some people, we ought to support them in that self-defense, right? We ought to use violence in support of them uh, in order to stop that great wrong being done. Disagree. Well, I don't, okay, there there are two choices here, right? Either you stick to your incredibly pacifist principles, which are noble, I think, uh, but very misguided, and those people just die, are just fucking slaughtered, or you support them. True. I have a story, I have a story. There was a guy named Tawiti, he was a Maori in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Before Gandhi, there was a man named Tawiti in Periaka. I have those feathers right there to remind me every morning who this man is. He's my hero. He's not, he's, he became, he became a Christian by German missionaries. And when imperialism came through New Zealand, he told his fucking people to go get plowshares and farm the fucking land they stole from them. That's the most gangster fucking shit that I've ever heard in my life. It's not passive. It's not, a, it's the most gangster, powerful shit. They fucking farm the land they stole from them. And as thousands and thousands of British soldiers went to that mountain to commit genocide, he told all his people to sit in a fucking circle and not one of them died. Tewiti, Perihaka, look it up. Nonviolence is the most powerful thing on earth, says Martin Luther King, says Gandhi, says Jesus, says Buddha. And I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. It's not passive. It's the most gangster shit on the planet. Okay, 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 sorry, 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 we gotta let other people, gotta let them in. We'll get back to you. Uh, go ahead, Pirate, uh, sorry, Black Wolf. All right. I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I want to ask Focus a very direct question. If you and I both agree not to mess with each other, but then afterwards I pull a gun on you and say, give me everything you have, and also you work for free for me from now on, are you violating your anarchist principles to fight back against that? I mean, I don't have to work for you. Well, no, I have the gun. I, you I do have to. turn my back on you. Oh, okay. you, well, kill you, me. you die right like, yeah. like you know what i mean like i'm also i also have an eschatology in my i also believe no, in but eternity just you know, i'm the not question. a materialist you know it's what i'm saying like i can i can fake okay cool you're gonna go to the next life be but, I, 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 but, let's be let's be like, fair yeah, right exactly. the married like, the married like, people the married people who didn't die on that day were very fucking lucky because they weren't decided because they didn't decide to fucking kill them right the 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 colonization of New Zealand was not a fucking. No, no, let's stop it. Luck. Let's argue luck. Let's argue that it's luck first. Don't go on a tangent. We got you. Stop there. Let's argue if it's luck or not. Because like, I believe there's historical. I can I can go get books on nonviolence where it's worked over and over again. And nonviolence works inside of a society that already has mechanisms to deal with this. Right. It's a form exactly. of protest. Exactly. 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 If like we if it. we didn't if we didn't go to war with Nazi Germany, do you think they would have stopped fucking executing Jews? I think the Russians would have killed them in winter. 
No, that's the, the fucking Russians, violence. Though, no, isn't the it? Russians don't go to war. They don't go to war. Everybody else outside of Germany is just like, nah, it's okay. I'm dude. not God. Like, I can't. I can't, I can't fucking stop Hitler. Like I can, I'm only responsible no, for what yeah, I. Yeah, but the right. Allied powers Listen, this can. Is, this is this is this is this is okay. Hold on. This is another thing. Is that like I don't have to juxtapose and throw away my individuality because you're a materialist. And you believe the world is a certain what? Way. I can still stand on my principles. As, I can still <laughs> stand on my principles as an individual. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like I feel I feel a little attacked to call that luck. Like, I don't have to just put it up to luck. Like, and it's okay for me to be passionate about nonviolence. It's okay for me to be passionate. Like, it is not, okay for not, you to be passionate about nonviolence. Nonviolence non non is an incredible manner. It's okay. Non nonviolence is an incredibly important like protest tactic. It's been very successful in several uh, areas in the past, right? It can be used as a strategy, but it also requires people to be prepared to undergo extreme fucking suffering. It requires people to have violence enacted upon them and not defend themselves ultimately. Right, and I would never Vivian, place that like, as a moral. You have a very I mean, parent, you have a very you... parental tone when you talk about this. Like it's very <laughs> like you're looking at me like I'm a small child. That no, I'm trying to be. Uh, no, I'm trying very. To, no, like, I'm trying to be into your position. So let me be. Let me. I'm no, trying no, very hard to be blunt. polite and not the just call that violence idiot. serves any. Hold on, let me be blunt. Yeah, if, let me, let if me you've ever seen me on these, right, if you've ever seen like, me, if, if, break your boundaries, if, dude. You know, I, let me call you the threat of nuclear war that we can burn our world to ash. You're the idiot now. Nobody, nobody's, making nobody's making yeah, that. Nobody's making that fucking. You all get to die in an inferno. Everybody gets to die into an inferno. But yeah, like, nobody said that. Like, I get to still say, well, you're. I mean, the, the straw man, I mean, it begs the question, like you said in the beginning. Like, I, I don't feel like the, the tone is parental is what I'm saying. And can I, I have a different anarchist, like, please? Like, I'd really like an anarchist still, who can, like, argue lucky. against the non-anarchists. Can I have, like, I don't know, even fucking Vosh or Lexi or somebody, just somebody who fucking, like, isn't just caught up in this completely individualist, egotistical, I will be non-violent and... Whatever, dude. Like, you can make your own fucking decisions. You don't personally have to engage in violence. I'm not going to fucking tell you that you need to, right? But you're also making the prescription that nobody else should get, engage in violence, even in self-defense. And and that's something that I, I, I find... That. I, find <laughs> I just said non-violence well, is anarchy. Okay, oh, okay. No, and, an I married, and I married those... And I... And I married those concepts for you. I said, yes, in a completely cooperative society, there would be no violence, right? Like, that is, you're absolutely right. And an ultimately anarchist utopia is a non-violent society. Woohoo, brilliant, okay? But I don't deal in utopias. I deal in pragmatics, right? And I deal in the immediate... Because you're not a era. fucking anarchist, baby. That's why. Well, I'm sorry, what? I don't live in a fucking dream world. <laughs> yes, I am a fucking anarchist. It's fine. Oh, like, like listen, listen. I want a non-violent society. But I don't want to let the whole force to continue. Burn the entire earth to the ground. No, the only, I'm not. The only thing rational thing to do is say non-violence. That's it. That's all that's left. It's not a. Who okay, said I'm? Who said I'm willing to burn the entire earth to the ground? ground. Means we can destroy the entire. I'm saying my position is not only anarchist as fuck. It's rational as fuck. It's That's not, not brother. It's, it's not, not brother. No, it's a, no. Your your position is your position is. I defend it. Okay, defend defend why you think that it would have been okay. Let me, let me establish my position. Let me establish to do my position. Not, to do I'll absolutely nothing. To do Just absolutely nothing. Well, no, I'll, I'll ask you, the, I'll I'll ask you, the, you I'll the, the question, and then you can establish, right? So. Do you, I want you to establish why you think it would be completely okay for the rest of the world to completely fucking sit on their sit on their hands while the show is going on, right? While Germany is executing Jews in their fucking millions, right? Um, should the rest of the world just sit on their hands. This is strong. You're point. making up art. You're arguing, making up arguments that I never said in arguments. This would be the immediate consequence of your so, philosophy, right? Like. Right, if right, everybody I, believed what you believe, this would be the immediate logical. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, so first things first. Uh, to the, the new gentleman, I've not met him. My name is Kobe. Uh, what's your username? Uh, how do I pronounce it? Focus. 
Okay, I was, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right. Um, my, here, I have a question. Do you believe that a society that requires violence to perpetuate it to perpetuate itself is a justifiable society, like a just society? Uh, I believe um, to answer your question, yes. But let me put an answer. Yes, it is a just society because a society cannot exist without violence. Okay, I'm not denying necessity. I'm not an idiot. Okay, what I'm saying is that to be rational and an anarchist, the only way is nonviolence. For these two points, one, we the next violent thing that happens, the most violent thing available to us is the destruction of our entire fucking human race. That's why it's rational. Two, it's anarchist for exactly why you said the only just society has to be violent because only society only society can exist with violence so it's what? not even a question you like it has Wait, to oh, exist i'm sorry i'm not denying necessity Hold on, let me finish let me finish where i'm standing because this is where i'm standing and i'm a, and i'll say this and you can argue because i don't think anybody can topple me from this my logic is impeccable mm. so, sure. clear war right so it's rational nonviolence. The principle of the entire world and society is based on violence. Therefore, it's anarchy. So I'm a rationalist. I'm a nonviolence. If you believe the principle of nonviolence is true, you are a rational anarchist. And that's the truth. And I believe because of those two principles, I am correct. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to be honest. It is my I want to hear from Kobe. Kobe, give it a try, please. I'm, I'm going to be honest, brother. You lost me there. <laughs> I do not understand there. Okay, hold on. So... I have a lot of questions, and and I, and I would like to understand your perspective on this. So first things first, could I you understand? Get, I need to get a water real quick. I'll be, but can you give me one second, bro? I'll absolutely, man. Ab ab okay. Absolutely. <laughs> sure, thanks. Uh, to everybody else, uh, I think that maybe we're operating. I kind of feel like we're operating. Like I don't know if we're using the same idea of anarchy because, like, when he said that the world is all the world is justified on violence, I feel like he was using anarchy in like an a Morton Joe mad you know what we kind of do, sense. Though? You know what I mean? You yeah, know what yeah. we should do when he comes back, just pretend like, like uh, we I, all had an epiphany, and he's like, really <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, I, do that, yeah, I, yeah. I, I wanted, I wanted to try to, I try to convince him that we should be anti-civilization, that we should go back to being like nomadic. We class. should. I like believe anarcho primitivism or something. Based. Uh, I'm, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try that. I, I think, oh, sorry, if, if he says all society must, uh, like any society, must exist with violence, then is he arguing for like no society? Is this some Joker meme? Like I don't fucking yeah, know. I, I kind of feel like because because he was getting into the whole like Buddhism, everything is infinite. I would I think he might be getting some anti civilizational kind of stuff. Please not fucking Buddhist. <laughs> yeah, like an anti-civilization I swear if the fucking word I swear if the words Kali Yuga come out of his mouth I'm fucking running I'm just leaving okay. I uh, hear anything we'll, about Vajrayana or fucking Tantrism we'll, we'll let Kobe uh, give a try okay Okay. so here's here's my take uh, focus we, we, we were talking about I, uh, we, you know, we were discussing about the fact that I, I, I'm an anarchist I, I, I personally identify as an anarchist I, I identify as what's called a post I, I consider myself post-civilization Civilization. I kind of think that the the the, the analysis identifies a Christian anarchist. A Christian anarchist, beautiful. Okay, we have we have Christians in the post civilization. I, uh, in my opinion, I think that all of modern society is justified on violence, and not only violence, as you pointed out, the the system that has been created, the world capitalist system, is has the ability to destroy itself through climate change, through mass uh, ecological destruction, uh, stru destruction through uh, 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 nuclear weapons. So this is my this is my Marxist. My, Am I a Marxist? I'm a post-Marxist. I, I I believe. I mean, I, I I would say I'm a materialist, but I think. I mean, again, like we, we we you know, Marx was still in this fantasy that we could have a civilization without that somehow you could have some sort of this fantasy civilization where oh, I'm going to be a, a fisherman of the day and then a critic at night. Absolutely not. No, that 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 civilization is is justified in the violence of of the natural world. So all these kind of things. What I kind of think. Should, 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 hold, hold on. Let me ask. Should, 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 like, you, don't, you see, you don't understand, right? Hold on. Let, let me just ask like, well, and let me ask my question. And you can't go from there. Should we not? Attempt as anarchists, people that that believe that human beings should be free to be autonomous, try to destroy this this horrible system before it destroys the rest of the natural world. Should should, should we not to go to oh, war should, too, with, 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 with society? We should, we should do it through nonviolence. Is what I'm saying. We well, should do it through non We should be anarchist and rationalist as fuck and do it through nonviolence. Is what I'm saying. Do you yeah. think it'd be justified to go to war with society? 
if, 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 if hypothetically somebody was coming to your perspective, but became, became, became convinced that there's just that like nonviolence is just impossible. Right, that like a system that predicates itself on violence cannot be destroyed. Like your question violence. doesn't make it you make sense. I mean, you already know that it's not it's predicated. So you're saying like, is it justifiable to go to war with the just society? It's like, is it justifiable to throw shit at someone when you're covered in shit? Yeah, I mean that's a really good question. If somebody throws shit at no, me, it's I, not. I it's not. Up and it throw, like, and being my gangster face. is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm dead. A <I'm> made gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like we're being fucking trolled here, honestly. But like, I, I. So it's I recognize the violence. I recognize the violence. I, I, okay. Well, you know what? I honestly don't care if I'm being rude. Okay, I. You come in here and you. No, I don't. Look, I, I come in here and I have my opinions. <laughs> And you feel, and this is the thing: is this is your problem with autonomy? You think <sighs> that by me having my opinions. I'm messing with your autonomy, and I'm not. Like, I'm okay. not. Yeah, I, I can have my opinions about this. Yes, you yeah, can have can whatever I... opinions you want, right? But your opinions don't trump my ability to express my opinions either, okay? Yeah, so, I, I will. And, and, when, you call, and, uh, when you call uh, me a troll, though, when you call me a troll, like, don't I get don't I get to form boundaries, too, and say, don't call me a troll. Please don't be I'm not impolite. calling you a troll. Do I said I always... I'm not calling you a troll. I, I didn't call you a troll. I said, I almost feel like we're being trolled here. I'm expressing my emotions. Why are you restricting my ability to express whatever? That's Fucking very, no, no. just, just get on with it. Reason, and the reason I, I got, why. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a little uppity and like, I should have just let you had your, you see, we're the reason. The I, don't, cool. I haven't made my point. Really I, do not, yeah. I do not care. I'm more interested in. I'm more interested no. in ideas. My so, point matters, <laughs> Vivian. I do, yeah, it, it does, Dan. It does. Yeah, yeah it but does. you know what matters more? Uh, my point, which I've now forgotten. No, no, Thank not. you, everybody. You <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, go ahead, Dan. You know, as a uh, nihilist, fuck morals. They don't, doesn't matter. We all are humans <laughs> in this universe and we all die eventually. So, like, if, if anyone want, like, I don't mind if anyone goes to you after you die and steal your stuff. So it's oh, okay. It's just, it's, it's just stuff. Property doesn't matter. It's just, we're all going to be eventually barbarians eventually. So, yeah, I mean, society's going to all... crush. You know, it's going to crush. It's going to be, everyone's going to be tribalism and, War is going to be eternal. Oh, I remember, like, what, I, I remember what I was going to say. We should all just Dan's collectively, not, independently, and finally decide so. to starve ourselves so we have, no longer have a civilization. Based <laughs> la, 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 la. I remembered what I was going to say. Don't make me fucking forget it again. Okay? Like, okay. So, I agree that violence should be the absolute fucking last resort. But I do not think that we should allow people to suffer violence if we can stop it, even if that means we have to use violence ourselves. And I don't think that that makes me not an anarchist. Right. I think that means that ideally I would love a world in which nonviolence is the is is the paradigm, right? And nobody commits violence against another person. But I recognize pragmatically that we exist in a world where that is not the fucking case. And we cannot react to absolutely every situation well, um, with nonviolence. Non sometimes Respondee. sometimes Sometimes, yes, it, no, it's okay. Let her okay. finish. Holy shit, let her finish. Let her, people, whoa, let her finish. Some some people is not all people, right? So we do not exist in a in a, in a society in a world in which nonviolence is the paradigm, right? And sometimes it is necessary. Okay, sometimes it is the last option on your plate to stop something like a genocide or 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 horrible fucking oppression. Okay, we should try all other options first, but sometimes we just have to fucking do that because that's the fucking world we live in. And if you don't want to engage in violence, I'm not going to force you. Violence Sweet. is an incredibly and traumatic thing to go Sweet. through. But like, mm. uh, but likewise, I don't accept your your prescription that I am not an anarchist because I don't want fucking because I don't want to just sit back on my fucking hands and allow genocides to be carried out without offering support to those people who are being murdered. True. So, can I ask a question? Um, um, just no righteous. Yeah. Um, quick question, Kobe. 
Yes. Okay. Well, it, it, it's, it's not a quick, but it will be interesting to, to focus. Uh, well, it means a quick, small one. Do you believe that you're like a completely autonomous individual or do you believe that you do have like a direct connection like kind of like, like, like internally enmeshed in the society you exist in? I don't think it's black or white, you know. Which I do go to more. Carl, Carl Jung used to say, uh, uh, Jung used to say that when he, you know, he, he made most of the last of the beacon of Western civilization that still exists is in his Jordan Peterson archetypal bullshit. But he, there's a lot of truth in what he says. And he said, it's not the statistical and quantitative, and you're going to hate this shit because you're a materialist. It's not the statistical and quantitative. It's the outliers. It's the things that don't match up with anybody else that makes me be able to cure my patients. And that's where it is. Because when you're a fucking rational anarchist like me, you're zen as fuck like that. Wait, wait, oh boy. I have a question. If you're not a materialist, why should we, why, why should we, why should we value uh, rationality? And, and if we're basing our, and furthermore, if we're basing our logic is not this on C.S. Lewis, is this, on, can you a, just juxtapose the C.S. Lewis to a materialist position? The only thing about C, listen, I'm, the what? only thing about C.S. Lewis I know is that he wrote about beavers that wore pants and fought in a, in a battle. That's the only thing I know hey, about C.S. Lewis. Listen, I don't know maybe about his writing. My question is, hold on, if you're, if you're based, based no, hold on, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh. Well, let me actually ask a question. Sorry, the gap doesn't start us. Yeah. Oh, okay. No problem. My question is, my question is, um, uh, so if you are saying that you're not a materialist, but you're saying, a, I'm, I'm asking, what, what is your reason for val valuing rationality? Furthermore, it seems when you bring up this, this young quote about outliers, where we're not, we're not, we're, not, we're, we're valuing uh, turbulence over continuity, right? Like, well, like we're, we're valuing the outliers over this. I mean, like, empiricism is literally about trying to, to, to not look at the outliers and trying to figure out what is the actual larger signal from the noise. What's the actual pattern going on in a larger event of you know, a larger system? Well, it seems that you're, you value the opposite. So I'm saying, what's, what, why rationality? I mean, you're not, it seems like you're not coming from this, from a rationalist perspective. So I'm wondering why do you value rationalism? I don't value rationalism. I don't value rationalism over material. I think there's things in life that can be quantified. And uh, for the for a materialist, if you're a materialist or a scientist, you should not start with any presuppositions except the scientific method, right? Go fucking quantify the universe and, and everything you can is what I'm saying to the materialist. And then to the rationalist who says that everything can be uh, can be uh, you know painted by the mind. You know what I'm saying? Well, go paint it, man. You know what I'm saying? And like for me. I believe being in the present moment and, you know, basically eating the meat and spitting out the bones. I believe I'm in the school of life and death. I'm Zen as fuck. I believe God's my dad. And like, and Why like do you... I'm a, I'm a fucking anarchist. I'm a fucking rational anarchist. Okay. Isn't God your Why do you rationality? Okay. Isn't God the hierarchy? Why the fuck? Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah. You did. You, you seem to not, Really care no, no, about no, no. rationality? No, 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 Why do you no, no, rational no. I have said that I am a rational anarchist, and and I and I built my position. My position. Okay, so let's start with some agreements. We all agree. Raise of hands. We all agree that society is based on violence, right? We all agreed on that. Vivian, you got my back on we that, need, right? You know what we do? We need Find to reject violence. Okay. and become monkeys. So, so aliens are currently. Right. Currently, most, yeah, sure. Currently, okay. most governing systems. Are. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Can we destroy the human? Can we destroy the human race with nuclear weapons? Show of hands. Oh my God! Yeah, sure. Possible. Moving forward. Cool. Yeah, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Considering those two things and the definitions of rationality, and the definition of anarchists, which is to do, is to, which is to go away from the status quo, being no, nonviolent. Not. I am right. questioning your definition the of rationality, my friend. I'm questioning your definition of anarchism. Uh, let them finish. Because the, the entire, literally, just the entire earth can be destroyed. Stop fucking killing people. Oh, you, you, you're an individual. Do you think you could do this? Well, fucking, can I try? Can I give it a shot? Hell yeah. Am I allowed probably. that freedom? Hell yeah. Do I have to fold into your collective board consciousness 
Or can I fucking like just have be an individual and like at least give it a shot? I'm falling into it. Yeah, like, you like, like, you so right resistance is futile. That. Okay, that's all I say you, about that. But do you, do you any smoke a lot of crack or just a little? Hey, um, uh, focus. Would you like to have like a one-on-one -on -one debate sometime? Um, for someone, I'm sure one of these individuals I can find would love to. You said since you can defend. Your points so uh, easily. I think you did a great job here today. Um, do you think um, you could uh, I do would that? Be, I'd be, I, would, I would love to do that. I'm totally down to talk about communist eschatology, Jesus. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to send you a friend ready. request Let's now. Go. So uh, accept that friend request on Discord. And uh, yeah, we got we got to set that up. Um, I think a one-on-one -on -one debate. I think you were clearly crushing everyone here. Um, so uh, we love to. I have to have you. We, I mean, just must have you again. Um, so that was amazing. Um, to anyone else who's, in, to, uh, oh, oh, sorry. To, to anyone okay. else who's enjoyed that, right? Uh, one, follow the channel right now. Do it right this second, so you can see that one-on-one -on -one debate in the future. It's going to be amazing. You don't want to miss out. So hit that follow button right this second. Make sure notifications are on, so you know I'm going live. I give this content six days a week.